you know, the accounting system needs to get upgraded as far as the government is concerned. And uh, I think sometime back when we had the discussion, I don't think anyone wanted to approach this whole issue in terms of changing the accounting system. Because if you are really going to not have something by which you can get a decent MIS out, if you don't get into a system by which you get away from the cash accounting to something far more than that, then you are going to be essentially looking at the commitments that uh, the organization has entered into and somehow financially representing it in some fashion. And, uh, and then uh, ensuring that, for instance, you know, if you want to know the number of projects that we have talked about, I don't think anyone knows the number of projects that many of these municipal organizations are handling at any point in time. So when you have that kind of a setup, how do you go to any um, uh, institution which can lend you money to say that this is my revenue stream, this is my uh, cap capability to pay over a period of time after having met all my commitments and so on. So I think this is a fundamental issue. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, as far as, you know, for instance, in the commercial world, I mean, uh, uh, you know, we try, we, we have these very robust systems in terms of being able to not just cast the accounts on a quarterly basis, but also be able to give a, um, uh, you know, statement in terms of either guidance or forward-looking ones, which essentially shows that the strength of the organization is going to be this over the next two or three years and so on, which helps the market determine what is the value that it can place on that. So uh, I think as you get into the sophisticated world uh, of bonds and uh, so on, many of these have to essentially dramatically change. Without that, nothing will happen.